So we are given this circuit and these two capacitors C1 and C2 are in parallel with C3 and C4 and we have a battery E. We need to find the potential difference between points A and B. So let's assume this side of the capacitor will have positive charge. Actually not assume it's going to be because positive terminal of the battery is on right side. So this will have some positive charge, this will be negative, positive, negative and like that. Now each of this branch, you can see that they are independently connected to this battery EMF. So one by one we can reach the potential at these points from starting from here. So let's say this is zero, so this is E. So if you go like this, then the potential of A is E minus V2. So VA is equal to E minus V2. Similarly, VB is equal to E minus V4. Now, what is V2? So these two are in series. So we know that the potential on one of the capacitors when two of them are in series is so on the second capacitor, the potential difference will be C1 divided by C1 plus C2 times the total EMF. So V2 is EC1 divided by C1 plus C2. So this VA becomes E minus uh, V2, which is this. Similarly, VB is equal to E minus V4 and V4 is E times C3 by C3 plus C4 which gives EC4 by C3 plus C4. So now we can do VA minus VB, which is asked in the question. So we do that and we get our answer. Now under what conditions is it equal to zero? So if VA minus VB is equal to zero, which means VA is equal to VB. And that happens when the numerator of this term is zero. So C1, C3 is equal to C1, C4 or C1 by C2 is equal to C3 by C4. So if C1 by C, C1 by C2 is equal to C3 by C4, then the potential of point A and B will be same. So that would be a balanced Wheatstone bridge. So if you connect a capacitor in between them or it doesn't matter whatever you connect in between A and B, no charge is going to flow into that branch because these two are at the same potential. So this ratio you can write in instead of thinking like C1 by C2 is equal to C3 by C4, you can also think like C1 by C3 is equal to C2 by C4. If you just cross multiply these, you will get that. Just one of the term, C3 if you take here, C2 you take there, then C1 by C3 is equal to C2 by C4. So either way, you take the ratio in this way or you take the ratio in this way. If the ratio is same, then A and B are at same potential.